Welcome to Fertile Minds. I'm Dr. Karen Kong with IVF Australia. So um, I'm going to talk about implantation. So implantation is a process that happens in IVF as well as natural conception. In the natural conception process, the egg and sperm will match in the fallopian tube. So the embryo is being developed in the tube for the next few days and gradually rolling down onto the lining of the uterus and attach. And that's on day five. What happened is the, uh, when embryo is implanting onto the lining of the uterus, attach, that's it. When the embryo is attached to the lining of the uterus, a lot of cells come and cover the embryo onto the lining of the uterus. And this is a time that when the embryo establish a relationship with the mother and there is crosstalk, information exchange and blood supply being formed so that the placenta will be formed eventually to produce all the nutrition for the baby to grow. The timing of embryo transfer implantation is critical. This happens after five to six days of progesterone supply to the lining of the uterus. It is getting ready for the implantation and this when the lining of the uterus is receptive. So implantation itself takes around two to three days to occur. As I said, it was a very complex process with all the crosstalk and all the development of blood vessels and nutrition to the embryo. So once the embryo has implanted, it will send signal to the lining of the uterus to maintain the lining and so that the mother doesn't have a period. The signal, which is HCG from the embryo, will keep the lining of the uterus to continue to maintain. If there's no implantation, no signal from the embryo, no HCG, the lining of the uterus will come off, that means the period. So a lot of, a lot of us ask, why does uh, implantation not happen? Um, the major reason is the quality of the embryo. If the quality of the embryo is not good, if the embryo does not have the right chromosome, the embryo is not going to implant, or even if it implants, it sends signal to your body to say, this embryo should not grow on. A less common reason why embryo doesn't implant is when there's a uterine factor, meaning the lining of the uterus is not correct. The, there's um, uterine lesions inside the uterus. So that's the time that we have to do further investigations. When there's implantation failure, there are other causes, which is more rare, including clotting problems, endocrine problems such as diabetes, thyroid problems, uh, and also immunological. If implantation failure happens more than once, that's the time that we're going to investigate further. I get asked a lot about implantation symptoms. Are there symptoms that we can watch out for to know that the embryo has implanted? Unfortunately, implantation doesn't cause any symptoms. Sometimes people report a bit of bleeding with implantation, but that is really rare. What we have to do is wait for 10 days after the embryo transfer, because that's the time there's enough HCG in your body that embryo has produced into your bloodstream and that's the time we can detect those levels in your blood. I know there has been suggestion about using temperature tracking, temperature changes to indicate implantation. But from a science point of view, there's not much reliability of using temperature to see if implantation has occurred. So the best thing to do is to wait for our pregnancy test. Thank you for watching this episode on Fertile Minds on implantation. Uh, please subscribe to our channels and leave your comments below.